so hello everyone so welcome back to the ivs youtube channel and today we have a uh, akrit and he is uh, one of the ivs student so hello akrit how are you hello navin i am good how are you i am fine so would you like to introduce yourself yeah sure so my name is akrit kathuria i am 22 mm -hmm. years old i'm from delhi born and brought up in delhi i have completed my graduation from delhi university in economics and history and after that i pursued my interest in spanish language and completed till b2 level along with that i have some interest in data analytics as well so i joined iv and while i was in the excel batch of iv i mm -hmm. received an interview call from genpack as a spanish underwriter so currently okay. working in genpack as a spanish underwriting assistant okay and along with that continuing my studies in iv so how was the journey in iv so far so good so the management and the teachers are so so good every time i have a stupid stupid doubt they always here to clear the doubt with the most basic thing that they can do okay so you especially ask for the mock interview the excel so this video for all about the excel so i will be ask you some excel question and i would give you some business questions based on the excel okay so yeah, sure. i'll start with the basics question of excel so let's start it so yeah. tell me uh, uh do you work excel in your work regularly yeah uh, the work that i do is mostly related to like translation or speaking spanish but yeah there are some sort of parts that i use excel for maintaining my personal sheet where sometimes i have to use conditional formatting sometimes i have to use like we look up index match not much but yes excel is there in my day to day life okay so i'll start with the very basic questions of excel so what are the cell referencing yeah so this is one of the most asked question is where so cell references are the address that identify the location of a cell so there are three types of cell references absolute relative and mixed relative cell references changes when we copy and absolute remains constant every time and the mix is the combination of both of them all right so tell me one thing let's say for example how do you split uh information in one column into two or more yeah so for that in excel in the data tab there is a function called text to column so go to mm. data tab suppose i have a gmail akrit.kathuria@gmail.com so i have mm -hmm. to split it the delimiter is at the rate so i will okay. select i will select the cell and then go to text mm -hmm. to column and then from data tab i will use the text to column function and in the last i will provide the delimiter as at the rate so then my text will be split it into two columns like akrit.kathuria in one and after at the rate gmail.com into another one all right so since you are working with a lot of functions so let me ask you one question that are related to functions so what is the difference between count <coughs> count a count blank and the count ifs okay so count a count blank count and count ifs yes. okay so start with the basic one count count function usually works on a specified range and gives us the count of the things that we have selected whereas the count a function Uh, neglects the all the blank cell and just give the information in specified range. Uh, sorry, the count a function works on the filled cells like the empty cells. It will neglect and count blank function only counts the blank cells in a specified range. Whereas count a function first, uh, the count a function first checks the condition and if the cells in a specified range matches those condition then it will count okay so what is a pivot table and why we are creating pivot tables i know you have in your work did you create a pivot table a lot then why we are creating pivot table pivot table basically the summarization of complex data sets to mm -hmm. study the business problems in much simpler manner okay you said that you work on we look up uh, index match so what is the default value in the last parameter of the we look up the last 
default parameter that has set in VLOOKUP is to be true. Means okay. approximate match. All right. Okay. Okay. So tell me one thing. Let's say, for example, I have a, a list of full name. Okay. I want to extract the <coughs> first name of a name from each cell. Which function should I use? For that, we will use text functions. And for this, we will use left function. Left will extract all the first names from the column. Okay. But let's say, for example, each word have the uh, different words. Akrit have six words. My uh, name have five words. So left will only give you the, the numbers that we are going to set. But you want to make a dynamic. So you want so to extract it, them. You want to extract. In, you have to write in such a way so it only accept the. It's only uh, take the the first word of each full name. Okay. So for that we will have to add the search function into the left function. For example, I am fetching my name. Let's say Akrit Patil. Okay. So will I will use equal to left? Then suppose my name is in A one cell. Mm -hmm. A one. So I will mm -hmm. select the A1 and then I will use the search. For search, I will go for the space. First okay. the space and then my name. The okay. A1 cell again. And after that, okay. I will minus it by one so that it will exclude the space after my name. Okay. So tell me one thing. What is the dynamic array and why we are using the dynamic array? Dynamics array allows us to work with ranges and array in a very powerful manner. For example, we have been provided with so many static tools like text to column, filter, and let's say sort. And by using, but they are all static. By using it as a function, we can dynamically change with the changing value. And it will okay. provide us very powerful and dynamic output as well. Okay. So what is the conditional formatting and why we are okay. using it? Conditional formatting is a function that automatically formats or highlight highlights something in a specified range or in a table with some icons or data with icons or colors. To it is used to it is more likely to be used to show the trends, outliers, and the main business problems in day-to-day -day life. Okay. So what is show value as and what is the ca calculated field in the pivot table and what is the difference between them? Okay. So show value as is a feature of pivot table that allow us to see the summarized data into various types, such mm -hmm. as percentage of grand total, ranks and difference of for a baseline, etc. And mm -hmm. calculated field is a custom field that we create by applying calculations on the fields that are given in a pivot table. Okay. And the basic difference between them in show value is we cannot create a physical column. And in calculated field, we can create a physical column. And the second difference is if we want to show the percentage of grand total, we can use show uh, show value as and if we want to show the profit margin or we have to compare two different years margin, we can create a calculated field. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's say, for example, Agreed, I have a call date column and the date are mixed in the sense of some of the date I have a DD MMYY and some of the date have MMM DD YY. Now, without creating any other column, how do I convert all the dates into my local machine date? Okay, so for that, we first have to go to data tab and then choose text to column. In text mm -hmm. to column, I have an option called date. So I will apply on my whole like column. Suppose we are in a table. I have the dates provided in the C column. So I will choose the C column and then I go to text to column 
and I will choose the date part and then it will convert into my system whatever the local system time is in displaying today. Okay. So what is the match function and how do you incorporate this match function in the index function? So match function gives us the position of a cell in combination with range and array and to incorporate the index function with match function. Uh, in the index function, we required rows and columns of the position. So instead of putting it manually, we use match function and combined it with the index function to get a more dynamic and fast answer. So Akri, what is if error and why we use if error? Uh, if error is used to mask the error. And we use if error, suppose we have an error in a formula. We can use it to mask the error and instead of the actual error, it can show other values. Now, let's say for example, Akri, if I want to restrict something in cells or in a column, how am I going to do that? For restricting anything in Excel, we have to go to data validation. Suppose I have a table and in the A column, I only want dates, nothing else. So I will go to data validation and select the whole column and I will custom my formula and I will provide a restriction message as well. So uh, Akri, how, how many projects you have done and what are the approaches that you have taken care of while creating the project? Till now in Excel, I have done two projects. And first one that I have done with the help of YouTube and IV is road accident comparison of 2021 and 2022. So firstly, what I have done is I have downloaded a data from Kaggle. And then after downloading it, I have exported it into Excel. And in the Excel, I have seen the name of the column. And accordingly, I have prepared 20 business, business questions. And now, after though preparing those like 20 questions, I have selected six or seven questions for my dashboard. Mm -hmm. Firstly, I, I clean the data, remove all the blank or null values if I, if it have any. And after clearing all the data, I have added some columns according to my, like according to my understanding. And after that, I analyze the data and then put it into the charts and tried my best to dynamically present as I can. And in that part, I will help me a lot. So whenever I had a doubt and I stuck somewhere, they help me out in those things. All right. So thank you for joining us I, uh, after today.